I have approximate answers and possible beliefs and different degrees of certainty about different things, but I'm not absolutely sure of anything, and there are many things that I don't know anything about, such as whether it means anything to ask why we are here and what the question might mean. I might think about it a little, but if I can't figure it out, then I'll go on to something else. But I don't have to know an answer. I don't feel frightened. which is the way it really is, as far as I can tell, possibly. It doesn't frighten me. What would I say to God? I would say, bone cancer in children. What's that about? How dare you? How dare you create a world in which there is such misery that's not our fault? not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God who creates a which is so full of injustice and pain. That's what I would say. Do I think I'd get in? No, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to get in on his terms. They're wrong. Now, if I died and it was Pluto, Hades, and if it was the 12th Greek God, truck with it because the Greeks didn't pretend not to be human in their appetites and in their capriciousness and in their unreasonableness they didn't present themselves 
as being all seeing, all wise, all kind, all beneficent, because the God who created this universe, if it was created by God, is quite clearly a maniac. But a maniac totally selfish. We have to spend our life on our knees, thank you, Kim. What kind of God would do that? Yes, the world is very splendid, but it also has an insect whose life cycle is to burrow into the eyes of children and make them blind. They outward from the eyes. Why? Why would he do this to us? You could have easily made a creation where that did not exist. It is simply not acceptable. So atheism isn't just about not believing there is a God, but on the assumption if there is one what kind of god is he it's perfectly apparent that he is monstrous utterly monstrous and deserves no respect whatsoever the moment you banish him What about Fräulein Fritzel in Austria, whose father kept her, kept her in a dungeon? Imagine how she must have faked. Imagine how she must have pleaded. Imagine for how long. Imagine for how long
that she went through that because she'll get a better deal in heaven I have to ask you can you be morally or ethically serious and postulate such a question but you say but you say no Religion's fucking finished. That's it. It's fucking over, lads. It's fucking over. Fucking Mecca and fuck off! 